Now then, where shall we start? How about being bosom buddies and you putting that gun away? Klausner, do you know where he is? Yep, he's dead. Just around the corner of the cave. You want to look? I'll take your word for it. How did he die? Starvation or dehydration by the look of it. He was caught in this trap you were shouting about. Yes, I suspected as much. The Templars were not ones to give away their secrets lightly. Was he carrying anything of importance? Yeah, he was carrying some sort of lens. I've got it with me. Give it to me. I don't think so. Don't be a fool, Mr. Stobart. If I give it to you, what's to stop you killing me? What is to stop me killing you anyway? You might hit the lens. Not if I shoot you in the head. When I fall, the lens might get broken. Yes. You plead convincingly, Mr. Stobart. Perhaps you will live to see another day. Perhaps. Was there anything else? Well, there was something in Latin up on the wall. What did it say? In Accidenta Sita Est, in Ora Mundi. Ah, the words of Caesar. Yes, that makes sense. Well, I know that roughly it means to the west, to the edge of the world. But what the heck is that about? It tells me where the sword of Baphomet lies. Mr. Stobart, I am sure that you are just what you appear to be. A gifted amateur. Thanks, I think. But I can no longer tolerate your interference. There is far more at stake than you realize. I cannot risk you inadvertently helping my enemies. So what are you going to do? I regret that we must end this here and now. What exactly do you mean? I am a professional. You will feel no pain. Oh, man. You're going to kill me? Your only choice now is whether you die like a man or like a dog. Okay, you're the boss. I'll take my medicine. You are an honorable man, Mr. Stobart. A rare breed. I should like to shake your hand. Yeah. Well, what the heck? It was a long way down. Below, I could see Ultar's truck. It was a... Luckily, the canopy on Ultar's truck broke my fall. Thank goodness for that. The worst part of the experience was Ultar's driving. What about the lens? Is it still in one piece? Oh, yeah. Well, it's good to see you again, Georges. Really? Well, I have to say, I'd have enjoyed Syria a lot more if you'd been there. I wouldn't have been much help. Anyway, you did just fine on your own. Let's take another look at the manuscript. That's the gem that Pegram found in Loch Marne. 
That's the face of the statue I saw at the bull's head. Have you any idea what this lens might be used for? As a magnifying glass, obviously. I'm sure you'll find it very useful. I'll be back as soon as I can. Okay.